Welcome back to Shibkai, everyone. According to Coinbase, Apple has restricted users from purchasing Shiba Inu coins as of today. In this video, we'll discuss how Apple forbids users from purchasing Shiba Inu coins. Apple wants to impose a 30% tax on all gas costs related to NFT transactions made using the wallet app, however Coinbase asserts that this is not feasible. Without further ado, let's start the video. This is our most recent content on Shiba Inu price forecasts and expert analysis. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's see what happens with Shiba Inu on December 3rd. The price of Shiba Inus indicates a surprisingly bullish outlook that may soon spark an explosive rise. The SHIB price is at a turning point that may spark an explosive bullish move that may benefit consumers at 35% to 0.00125. The price of the SHIB Inu is currently near a monthly support level of 0.933, which is one of two reasons why this move has a high possibility of happening. The likelihood that the SHIB will lift off from this barrier is high because it can resist four negative attempts. The well-known Momentum Indicator Relative Strength Index also adds this indicator has generated a bullish divergence, which occurs when momentum rises but the market movement does not match it, lending credence to this outlook. As a result of this technical configuration, which favors bulls, investors can consider looking for the next significant hurdle at 0.127, which would represent a 35% gain, for the Shibenu price to retest. Turning the same level into a support floor will allow the ship to tag the 0.202 hurdle. Still, this runeup can provide investors with a gain of $1.244%. In contrast to the original meme coins, the 124% upswing forecast for the Shibu price is not out of the question. However, ship must maintain above the 0.933 support level on the monthly time frame. A breakdown of this level on a high time frame chart would cause buyers to lose interest and possibly offload their holdings, which would trigger a sell-off. Such a development could push the price of Shiba Inu to 0.689. Additionally, SHIB tokens must moonshot more than 10, 800,000 from where they were trading last week in order for such a huge gain to occur. There would be five requirements. The forthcoming release of the Sharon ALR2 blockchain which aims to drastically reduce transaction costs, is the most crucial development for SHIB. While Ethereum is a highly trusted network, its popularity tends to slow down processing times and increase transaction costs. Shibenu is an Act20 token developed on the Ethereum blockchain. Sharam is essential to significantly reducing these costs in order to fund the project's blockchain-based games. Aspiration second but advancing the first, is the potential introduction of games powered by non-fungible tokens. The capacity for users to own their certificates and purchase or sell NFTs on marketplaces is a crucial feature of blockchain-based games. Even though developers are nearly entirely focused on the eventual launch of Sharam and the potential for ship within the metaverse, third Shiba Inu will need to see a significant uptick in merchant acceptance. Until Sharam is launched and transaction fees are significantly reduced, these marketplace transactions may be prohibitively expensive. If SHIP is going to skyrocket to dollar one quarter, it will need to gain real-world utility in order to put a floor beneath its token price. Additionally, a significant amount of coin burn will be required to reduce the estimated 549 trillion outstanding tokens, according to CoinMarketCap. Vitalik Buterin, the creator of Ethereum, delivered more than 410 trillion ships to a defunct blockchain address in 2021, significantly lowering the amount in circulation. It's highly likely that in 2023, a comparable level of coin burn would be required to make a difference. Finally, to moonshot above 10, 800,000 per in 2023, Shinu would require unprecedented levels of support and buzz on social media message boards, according to other scans. Over 1.25 million wallets include coins from ships. For an asset that has shown how potent the fear of missing out can be, the great majority of these people would need to be active on social media. In the past 24 hours, there has been a minor increase in the burn rate by 36%, 
with 8,375,655 ships torched and six transactions completed in the previous seven days. After a rebound from lows of 0.0081 on November 22, CHIB has remained in consolidation with the range tightening as the days pass. This could suggest a move might be on the horizon, though the extent is still unknown. On December 3, 2,790 SHIP tokens were burned, and 50 transactions were made. This number is lower than the previous week when 2, 123,456 SHIP tokens were burned. According to a blog post, the DAO model was presented to let the community to participate in decision-making. Shibu announced its merging with the Italian burger joint in February, and the daily RSI has flattened, boosting the likelihood of consolidation ahead of the main move. When Wells' decentralized organizational group DOG was just launched, the DAO paradigm was put to the test. Community members were given the duty in late November to select the finest interior design for the inside of future franchise locations from a sample of three proposals provided by the partner design firm Moss ESP Paseo. The DOG model will be used to inform future decisions that are made and submitted to the community. These decisions will cover everything from shop design to franchise locations, menu selections, and packaging. Furthermore, a separate DAO will be used by the Shiba Inu community to determine the optimal use of monies given to ship holders, which account for 15% of future net store revenues. You may have noticed that NFTS can no longer be sent on the iOS version of Coinbase Wallet. This is because Apple is preventing. Our most recent app release until we turned off the feature the Coinbase Wallet was built with. Coinbase Wallet iOS app no longer supports NFT transactions due to Apple's strict new NFT restrictions, which were revealed in October. Thursday's Wallet account tweeted even though they aren't technically prohibited, NFTs are subject to a high 30% transaction fee on Apple's mobile app store. Developers who fail to comply risk having their apps deleted from the store. Standard based on Coinbase anybody who is familiar with how blockchains and NFTs work would clearly find it impossible for Apple to charge a 30% fee on any gas fees, that is, fees associated with Ethereum network transactions associated with NFTD transfers made through the wallet app. Coinbase further argues that even if we wanted to, we couldn't comply because Apple's exclusive in-app purchase mechanism doesn't handle cryptocurrency. Every transaction a user makes on the Ethereum network incurs a fee known as gas. This fee is necessary for the network to function, but it is more complex than a flat rate and is not controlled by a single entity. It even applies when a user is transferring an asset, such as an NFD, to another wallet. The price of gas, expressed in gay but paid for with an ET, fluctuates based on the Ethereum network's activity and how well a smart contract's code works. Additionally, more seasoned users have the option to spend more to have their transactions appear higher on the list. Coinbase has been enraged by these constraints on its mobile application. Compares Apple's actions to the company's desire to collect fees for each email sent across open internet protocols. The controversial app purchase tax implemented by Apple has angered many cryptocurrency supporters, including Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic Games who launched a lawsuit against the company's practices and said that the tech giant must be stopped. A former YouTube executive and current CEO of Polygon Studios, Ryan Wyatt, has taken a same stance and declared Apple's 30% tax to be illegal. Monopoly in the industry will always impede technological progress. Twitter's wealthy CEO, Elon Musk, had previously voiced concerns that Apple will ban Twitter from its retail locations. That concludes today, remember to give it a thumbs up. Musk later met with Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, on Wednesday, and Cook apparently alluded to Musk's concerns. To view our most recent content, please like and subscribe to the channel.